What's up everybody? 915 Mang here. Hope you guys are doing good here. What I did was a uh, turkey first time doing it and I gotta say it was pretty dangerous and pretty scary at the same time. But I gotta say the turkey came out pretty good. It was uh, pretty tasty. Take a look at the seams of my 120 after that accident that uh, D had. Which by the way D does have a YouTube channel now. The opportunity came up to get a new tank. Uh, this tank is uh, used, brand used, uh, brand new to me, but used, and um, it's a 180 gallon reef tank. Drilled, reef ready, ready to go. Um, it's looking a little bit rough here, but it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna get this baby going. I did end up trading my 24 gallon all-in-one tank. Uh, it was an awesome tank, but what I did, I gave up the light, which was an AI Prime, the mounting bracket, the tank itself, uh, the filtration, um, the stand, an MP40, some corals. I gave them all my fish, and uh, I got the 180 tank. Um, picked it up on Black Friday, and uh, I just thought it was a great deal. I went down to the hardware store and I picked up some screws. These are deck screws. My buddy Vish, V-I-S-H, um, he was telling me to buy galvanized screws because they don't rust. But I picked up some deck screws. Um, I just had a better deal and um, they're pretty cool. Supposedly with these uh, deck screws, um, they don't need to be pre-drilled like the hole, the, like a pilot or anything like that. And it came with this little bit um which i searched for that little bit to make sure that it was in there because the other boxes that i found actually didn't have it these are the same deck screws that i used on my 120 uh worked really good and as you can see this is how i measured it i just took one of the screws out of the box put it through the uh side of the two by six and so i can see how much of the two by the screw it will grab of the two by six the stand was really, really easy because I bought this DeWalt uh, holder. You just adjust it to your uh, what you need it to hold and then squeeze it and it'll hold it in place. Um, I did it one end by end and it worked out great. I also bought these uh, pilot hole drill bits and I used the smallest one. Um, I did kind of test it out. I, I just didn't want the wood to be cracking, you know, because I did use an impact drill. So what an impact drill does, it runs the screws in through the wood like hot butter. It makes everything so easy to do and uh, comes out really good. And with the right tools, your stand will be easy to build. This is the uh, PVC cement that I used. I bought the cleaner, the primer, and also the medium clear uh, cement. This is the brand of uh, stain that I use. One thing about staining uh, wood is I hate the smell that it makes. Another cool thing is that my wife actually stained my stand for me. She, um, she put the coats on and put the second coats on, coats on, and it came out pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to lie, after building the stand though, it took me about three days to uh, walk because I was so sore, you know, uh, all that bending up and picking up, just squatting down and all that really sucked. What I have here, guys, is a dorsal overflow. I was actually going to get them from uh, the guy that I picked up the tank from, uh, but I was so excited to get the tank that we just loaded it up in the truck and we took off. So um, I have a dorsal overflow on my 120 and the outside of the pipe is one and one quarter inch. Then it reduces down to uh, one inch and uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just glue it up. Uh, for those of you who have never seen it, or how to do this what you want to do is um, you want to first use a uh, cardboard because it as you can see it's pretty messy and then uh, you're going to run that purple primer on there to clean the pipe on both ends that you're attaching and then just uh, add some glue in a circular motion really easy to do guys I do want to say you do have to add um, some pressure there because the glue expands it kind of pushes the pipe back out and uh, so you do got to hold it in place for a couple of seconds. Also, if you want some plans on the dorsal, um, you can buy the dorsals yourself already made. But I picked these up at uh, Lowe's. 
Don't forget to get your uh, 10% off discount if you're active duty or a veteran. If you want the plans, all you have to do is Google Dorso Overflow. There's a site there. It's like DIY Dorso, and uh, it works. They tell you what pieces you need all the way down to what pipe, and they even sell them. So shout out to them. Uh, here's a look at the tank. Um, pretty solid. Uh, I'm really liking the way it came out. It came out really nice and shiny. But this whole side right now is probably going to get covered up. Uh, I'm probably going to skin it. The front of the tank is actually open, and that's the way I like it. And I put some center braces all the way across because they recommended um, 2x8s for the top. So I actually did find some 2x8s at Lowe's, but the uh, Lowe's where I went, they couldn't cut the 2x8s for me. Um, I kind of didn't believe them, but usually they will cut wood for you. Uh, they said that it was uh, their saw was broke. So I picked up this CG 4.0, and uh, I picked it up from my buddy D. Uh, D basically gave it to me, and uh, so I'm going to use this as my return pump. Now, speaking about D, uh, he was asking me what I was going to do with the 120, and I told him, well, I'm just going to junk it. I'm not going to give it, sell it to nobody because, you know, somebody's going to be giving me money, and even if I did sell it, I wouldn't sell it for a lot, but... The thing is, I didn't want to sell it because of the seams. So D said he'll take it. Now what you're looking at right now is a tub. Uh, my buddy let me borrow his tub. And I'm going to use this for my tank transfer. It's going to work out real good because it's a 100 gallon tub. I also use that shop vac to uh, vacuum out this 180. And then right here is a 20 gallon long frag tank um, that my buddy Paul gave me. Um, he had it drilled and he just never set it up, uh, but it it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to use the Jiry RW15s on each end. I don't know if I have to buy another RW because um, I lost the uh, suction cup on one of the uh, RW15s, uh, which is crazy. Um, I also had a bucket full of sand. This is sugar fine sand, and what I'm going to do is I started renting it out. Um, I ran the idea of bare bottom for the tank and sand and the wife told me that I will be using sand so um, instead of buying sand which I would normally do I'm just going to rinse out this bucket of sugar fine sand that I had. I don't recommend that you guys reuse your sand I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out this is just what I am doing and uh, I'm going to rinse it out real good dump it and repeat the process until it comes out mostly clear. Even when you buy brand new uh, sand, it comes out, you know, really foggy. But the reason I'm rinsing this out really good is because of whatever detritus and garbage was in the sand. So I, you know, used small buckets, did it in over and over till it came out mostly clear. And uh, this is what I'm going to use. It's probably not going to be enough for the 180, but the stuff that's in the 120 right now, I'll repeat the process. Anyways, guys, thanks for following along. Like and subscribe and you guys take care.